Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him praise, give him honor. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you are walking in the power of God, the fire of God, the presence of God like never before. I was praying, well, I've been praying, but first of all, today is the first um, day of the 21 day Daniel fast. Praise God, praise God. So God has been really, and you know we did the, prior to this, we did the seven day full liquid fast. So what God is doing in this hour is that he's equipping us with wisdom and discernment. Come on, somebody like never before. And one of the things he told me, he said, people are praying, but they're not being specific in the way that they're praying. That's why people are not getting healed. That's why people are not getting delivered. For real. I'm not talking about for a three month stint or a four month stint. I'm talking about consistently and consecutively year after year after year. Walking that foundation. Walking it like they talk it for real. Not just one minute you save, the next minute you backslid. The devil is alive. So he gave me four keys to praying for someone's healing and deliverance. Come on, somebody. For people, for other people and yourselves. So these are the four keys that God gave me. I wrote them down. So the first one, you know, we, we pray the sinner's prayer for other people, or we give them the sinner's prayer. That's fine. But you have to understand, they have to also have somebody to pray for. But truth be told, you and I, if we're saved, healed, and delivered for real, we didn't just get here. That was a process. But the first thing was people prayed for us. Somebody prayed for us, whether it was your grandmother, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, whomever. Come on, somebody, godmother, whatever. They prayed for you. God help that person. God deliver that person. God keep that person. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So you have to understand, we forgot about doing that. Remember when they used to have the shut-in prayers all day long? They would labor and labor. Well, this is the four things. Because we're going to a different spiritual plane, meaning that it's more demonic warfare like ever. Come on, somebody. Y'all know it's true. So these are the four keys, God says. When you're praying for somebody, healing and deliverance, the first thing God wants you to do is, pray God open their hearts the enemy got their hearts blinded they have a reprobate state of mind and whenever you're in a reprobate state of mind you don't see none, you don't know none all you know is what the enemy is feeding you darkness death, which I rebuke, a spiritual death killing, stealing, whatever whatever the enemy say do you doing because they're in a reprobate state of mind so the first prayer that you have to pray God, open their hearts come on somebody, hallelujah Hallelujah. I'm going to walk this thing out. The second key, somebody write it down in the comments, everything. So the first one is ask God to open their hearts. The second key, God, I pray that the scales fall from their eyes. The scripture says that the enemy has blinded them. They can't see us. They, they think we're crazy. They don't know nothing about God. Because, okay, where's the anointing? Top of your head, right? So if the enemy got the eyes, then they taint it. This all this is tainted because if you have the eyes, then the ears. Most blind people are what they kind of deaf or they deaf, right? All this is being manipulated by the enemy. So you have to ask God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let the scales fall off their eyes so they can see and hear you. The third one, Father God, take the callous and the coldness from their hearts. That's why. Let me tell you something. Demons, y'all wonder why a lot of people getting killed. I'm I'm just gonna tell y'all this. Most people are possessed. Y'all wonder how they can kill people, especially in a violent manner. They don't have a soul. So some of them are getting killed by real demons, and other ones are possessed by, possessed by real demons. Excuse me. But what am I saying? They can't feel nothing. They numb. Y'all like to say numb. No. The heart is callous. Because one thing about when you really get and you come to God, and you get transferred from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light, your heart becomes like jelly because now you're able to receive. Because I, I remember when I was in the world, I was cold. Y'all, as a matter of fact, when you weren't saved, you was cold. Some of y'all still cold, so I, I don't know if y'all saved. Because when you truly get delivered, you can't roll like you used to roll. You're not weak now, don't get it twisted. But you have a heart. So the first key is you got to ask God to open their hearts. The second key is you got to ask God to remove the scales from their eyes. The third key is you got to ask God to remove the callousness from off their heart, that cold nature. Come on, somebody. And the fourth one is you got to ask God to bridle their tongue. That's why they say crazy stuff. That's why they do crazy stuff. That's why they act crazy. And it's not that they don't want to. They can't hear. They can't see. 
And God says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. Most people do not know the spirit of God because they can't hear and see that in a reprobate state. And when you're in a reprobate state, you're doing, it's like a, um, a mass evasion. She's doing what all everybody doing, the masses. It's like you you blind. You can't see. Come on, somebody. And a reprobate mind is just that. You're like robotic. You can't hear and see the truth because you don't hear and see and know the truth. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So these are the four keys. I'm going to say them again. Somebody write it in the um, comments for me. The first key is ask God to open up their hearts. The second one is pray for the scales to fall off their eyes. The third one is remove the callousness from off their heart. And the fourth one is to bridle their mouth. So they don't just say anything before God or even just out in the atmosphere. Proverbs 18, 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love it should eat the food thereof. So you have to watch what you say. Watch what you do. Hallelujah. So God gave me these keys last night. He said, people are not getting truly healed and truly saved. Because anytime you can go to church, I'm about to go here, and come back the same way, you need to, you need to renounce your pastor. Yeah, I said, oh, Lord, they're not going to like me. She's talking about my, honey, if you are not getting, hold on. Thank you, Lord. I'm about to work this thing out. People put clothes on. You sharp, huh? As a matter of fact, most pastors, famous, they sharp. I'm talking about they put on them thousand dollar suits or this and that. You know, women putting on micro cores, everything. God don't care about what you put on. It's what's inside of you. You could put anything on all day long, but if you ain't got no power from the inside out, it is not and void. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! I feel the power of God up in here. God wants to know what you're putting inside of you. Because he said, Pharisees and Sadducees, y'all look good. Y'all look whitewashed. But you ain't got no power. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And the reason why most people are not walking in power is because they're still in bondage. That's why he gave me those keys. Some bondage in the area of their lives. Come on, somebody. That's what make people do things. Because hurting people hurt people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all wondering why there's so much chaos out there? Those people are hurting. They're hurting and they don't know how to, so, so they just survive. And, 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 if, and if they are in bondage like this, meaning that their heart is closed, the scales are on their eyes, they have a callous heart, they're capable of anything. Come on, somebody, let me walk this thing out. When you don't have the power of the Holy Ghost, which is the power of conviction, you are capable of anything. Hallelujah. That's why the power of God has to come inside their heart and rearrange. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So I just want to give y'all those four keys right quick and get up off of here. I just got out of class and I'm a little tired. But I had to get y'all had to drop those keys on y'all. All right, so God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.